Wisconsin, and Jeremiah Reno, freshman out of Kansas City, Missouri, for the Cornhuskers. Let's stay on top of the head, all right? Set. Reno looking for his first Big Ten dual meet victory. Liam Cronin was injured early this season, and that is why Reno, the true freshman, donning the Nebraska singlet here in the Big Ten. Well, the one thing that, Shane, I like about you know, true freshman getting out there, it, it really gives the rest of your, you know, likely the red shirt sometime in your career and, and maybe even the next year, but it gives you purpose to the, your, your practices. Sometimes you bring guys in the program and you know, everything's feel good. Yeah, you get you, you get your rear end kicked a little bit in the uh, practice room and all that stuff, and certainly in the open tournaments. But you get out here in these intense dual meets here in the Big Ten Conference, it, it, it's going to put some purpose into your practices and your off season because you know you know you know what the distance is between you and your goals. The Russ left the edge. 60 seconds into this first period. Center. Durlacher, the nephew of the late, great Lindsey Durlacher. Yeah. He was a star for the Fighting Illini in mid 90s. Get your head over there on that side. Dominate. Yep. Pull. Pull. Head forward. Nice, nice shot there. Durlacher coming in on that shot. Great shot, Dave. Stay on the face, fellas. Stay on the face. Reno, a four time Missouri State champion, 179 and 0. Undefeated high school career. Go to his leg. Find the set. This time last year, working on that four state title. Yeah, and it, it finds yourself out there in the lineup. A nice, heavy club right there. Whoa. Control the tie with your left. Hard left handed yes. club from Durlacher. You got it. It looks like he's just got the a feel of when to uh, you know attack into a guy, move into a guy. Nice and slightly out of position. Pull, pull with your right. One minute, Jeremiah. One minute remaining in the first. You can hear it. I love it. You hear Coach Manning right there. He's going as hard as he did in the first match. Okay, he's got this meat, you know, wired. This guy gets in on the shot. A deep shot here for the Cornhusker. Takes the turn. turn. Yeah, he's got the ankle free. He should win this. And now he's got the ankle tied up, elbow deep here. Nice shot by Reno. Getting the shot and finishing. Gets that takedown and now 30 seconds away from a ride out. But yeah. gets out of position and gives up just the one nothing to I like what Del the Durlocker was able to do there with a quick escape. He kind of elevated him off. Kind of turned into him a little bit, got him a little bit high. You know, when, when you can be that guy that gets that quick escape, you're just back in business and it's just like nothing ever happened. And, no kidding. And even though you're down on the score, you're just not down mentally. Basketball coming up. The fighting a line, averaging 21 a game. There's a good mat return right off the whistle from Durlacher. Puts the leg in. And Reno was able to get that arm trapped in there, but if his arm is trapped, it's not doing anything to help him, so he's got to pull it back out. Durlacher really knows what he's doing here with his... Uh... Stop, stop, stop. I'm <laughs> not Durlacher there. I was not on his throat. He was faking it. <laughs> I just, oh. This this meat has had everything in it. It, just, it definitely has. <laughs> this is an escape. Arena now up three to one. Final match in this duel. You know, the only thing I don't like about that 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 sequence there is that that, that Durlacher should have went right back to the position that he that he wanted. It, it just it just took him a little bit out of his uh, maybe a bit better for him being tough in the top position. Hard collar tie. Heavy circle left. Heavy. the underhooks. Reno staying with him. He's stalking, moving forward. Work, work in the center. Work in the center. You know, really trying to take territory, grab that tie. Durlacher now sloping down here with that two on one. Action on the edge. Second, second period. 
be careful there if you're Dave Verlecker. Look in the center, buddy. With this win, Nebraska winning eight of the last nine against the Fighting Illini. Good work from Reno, looking for a second takedown. Drops him, puts the head down, cracks him down. Puts his head right there. The guy, he's going to try to get that right arm across. And with this pressure, that, with the elevation and the pressure forward here, he's able to go ahead and slip it. Now he's got a half Nelson set up there. Got speed on the mat. He adjusts, keeping that right foot in, yeah, yeah, just, out of bounds. I just didn't have the leverage to continue it. So Valdelagna fired up, Mark Manning as well. They like the effort from their 125 pounder. Again, after this, men's basketball, Same Northwestern starts. and Illinois. Same good starts, here we go. Look for Charlie Lacker to look for that Cover. little elevator action and reversal. Washington. Quick stand, stand up, stand real up. quick guys, little quick. I like the idea there though, three cautions before it's a points. That's the first one on Durlanker trying to get that edge off the whistle. Oh, he's got to be careful, there's two. Guys, just give me a pause, a little pause, take it easy. Bottom in set, cover. Chop off the whistle. Five one Reno to the third. Lincoln Cornhuskers lead at 19-11. Final Big Ten duel for Illinois. Nebraska with one left. That'll be next Sunday against the rival Hawkeyes. We'll have that one here on the Big Ten Network. Here's a roll from Durlacher. Yeah, I like that. Coming to his feet, looking for the trying to take him to his back. Scramble. And a fun duel here today. Both teams have competed well, of course, for Illinois. Lucas Berg gets them off to a good start at 33. Brown goes well. Competed at 65-84. As Jeremiah Reno is taking advantage of his opportunity. Near fall. In a position for bonus points. Sinks in an arm bar at the edge. Riding time creeping up near a minute. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Keep it legal, keep it legal. Really grinding hard in the top position. Hard to get off the mat. Outside the cylinder. See if Reno gives him the escape. Same good starts. You can stand up and reach back. I think he's gonna wait for me. Coach Manning's asking to go ahead and look for the turn. Stay with them. You should back me. You should back me. You should back me. I think if you're Durlacher, yeah, right there. Go, go for something big, right? Put yourself back in this match right there. That's what the I'm talking about. If you're out of it, get to your feet. Go the body. Look for something big. The risk rewards all in your favor. If the guy gives up a mat return, so be it. So Reno here, if he's able to get a takedown A ride out, he'll get the major decision. Yeah, taking advantage of that. High stance, of course. Drew Lacker looking for something big, and if you shoot below the knees, you're not gonna, it's really tough to be able to get tossed. So, Keep it clean. solid match here by Reno. That late takedown for Jeremiah Reno picks up his first Big Ten dual mate victory of the season. Understandably so. He's like today that hard work pays off. It really sure is. I mean, he's, you know, the guy's undefeated in high school in his state. Big win for him. Outstanding wrestler presented by Cliff Keen Athletic.